So now let's solve for the measure variation in a ungrouped frequency distribution table. So an example of that is this, this given. The 59 who has a frequency of 3, a mass of 60 who has a frequency of 9, and so on and so forth. Now the first one that we will solve is the range. The range is very simple. It's just the maximum minus the minimum. So you have the maximum value here. You subtract it with its minimum, and that would be our range. The next one is the variance. Now, to solve for the variance, we will use this formula. So let's solve it. Now, for the sample data, we have small letter n, and that is the total number of frequencies. So you just sum everything we have here in frequencies. That. So we have 50. Now, the next one is we will get the... The XF in this problem, you just multiply the mass times the frequency. And then I'll drag it down. And again, I will sum them. Next, I will solve for the F multiplied to X raised to 2. So that is the frequency multiplied to the mass squared. So to solve that, I will use frequency multiplied to x raised to 2. Again, frequency multiplied to x raised to 2, and I will click enter. So I will have these values, and I'll just drag it down, and again, I will sum it. Now let's compute for the variance. This is the formula of the variance. So now let's solve variance using this formula. So I'll just put a parenthesis. 50 multiplied to the sum of the f, x squared, and then we subtract it to the sum of the fx, but remember, we have to square that again, n times the sum of the x squared minus fx raised to 2, again, it's raised to 2, and then we divide it to the denominator, which is n50 multiplied to n minus 1. You can write 49 if you want to, because that is 50 times 49. You can do that. And another parenthesis, so that we can separate the upper, the upper part of the fraction and the lower part of the fraction. We can separate the numerator and the denominator. And then let's click enter. And that is the variance. Now, the standard deviation, of course, is just the square root of variance. And that is the answer. The next one is the mean. If you still remember, to get the mean is just the sum of xf divided by the frequency. And that is the mean. And the next one is the coefficient of variation. The coefficient of variation is standard deviation divided by the mean, and it should be written in percentage. So that is the standard deviation. You divide it by mean, and that is the answer. Now let's write this into its percentage form. So it means it has a coefficient of variation of 2%. So this is how we solve a measure of variation in a ungrouped frequency distribution table.